some new arrivals at TLT Trading. Wow, a lot has happened. Uh, over the last month, there is some awesome new stuff available and I'm gonna be pointing it out alongside some restocked items and some things to watch out for. Uh, if you want to check out this page on your own and you don't wanna to listen to me talk, that's fine. I'm gonna link it all right down below in the description for you to conveniently go to these different pages and find whatever it is you're looking for. But if you wanna hang out with me and hear my commentary, hear my thoughts on this stuff, that's what we're gonna to do today. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. People ask me if these videos are sponsored. No, they're not, actually. Um, I mean, I have affiliate links, obviously, um, but no, no sponsorships. I, uh, I legitimately enjoy going through uh, these retail sites. So we have some Manticores. We have whatever a Blackjack Model 4 is. I'm not super duper familiar um, with, um, you know, that stuff there. One of the things that I wanted to point out is that uh, DLT Trading is now a supplier of Kunwu knives. I love Kunwu knives. They offer some of the best value for materials that you will find on the market. I mean that. A lot of this stuff is titanium and uh, Elmax or even Vanax for really insanely good prices. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but the nice thing uh, about this is you can you can buy from the Kunwu website if you want. It just takes him a long time to ship. Fortunately, DLT Trading is now a supplier. So if you don't want to wait two weeks, three weeks, a month for your knife directly from Kunwu, you can buy it from DLT for, as far as I know, the exact same price, uh, which is awesome because DLT ships pretty quick. It's like three days, maybe. Um, so yeah, if there's a model you've been wanting, but you just weren't sure about ordering direct from Kunwu, which there's no problem with, by the way, um, yeah, you can go through DLT and they've got a ton of models. I'm guessing they're going to be picking up more of their stuff. So don't be surprised if we see the Padre coming in soon. Uh, definitely, if you are not familiar with Kunwu knives, I've been saying this lately, there are certain knives and certain companies that are basically cheat codes <laughs> to skipping a lot of the campaign, so to speak, uh, when it comes to climbing the ladder in the EDC knife world. If you're new and you're just trying to catch up and you're like, you know what, I'm ready to spend over 100 bucks on a knife or closer to 200, right? That's a big step. But if you're there and you just don't know where to start, holy crap, <laughs> let me save you some time. Look at Kunwu. They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. You'll hear that echoed down in chat. Scandinav Val Valknut. I don't know anything about them. I changed some screen settings on my computer and obviously it doesn't like it. There's some new uh, Medford uh, 187 DPTs in S90V. I've said this before, I'll say it again. The best value Medford knife in existence is the Medford 187, costing two to $300 less than all of its other full-size offerings um, and made just as well. I, I literally don't get why th this, like, like this versus the Marauder H-Frame. What is the difference, Medford? What I mean, what, why? <laughs> There's no difference, right? Uh, we have the tactile knife company Mavericks in G10 and MagnaCut. I need to point this out. This is one of the companies hitting that MagnaCut super high. MagnaCut has a very wide optimal range. I'm pretty sure Laren Thomas says that it works just fine anywhere from 60 to 64. A lot of people really want it a lot higher. The Maverick is going to uh, hit that much higher. The other cool thing is I believe these are the versions that have been quality control updated. So have you heard of issues uh, with these knives in the beginning? My pre-production sample had some issues, but they were aware of it. I believe these have all been updated. So that's really cool. The return of the Heretic Hydra. Uh, me and this knife right here, we have a, a bit of a, a, a relationship because this is the knife that I accidentally fired into my hand. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, these are single action OTF knives. So I was very lucky that it did not do more damage. These are significantly more powerful than double action knives. I would say at least double the power of my most powerful uh, uh, double action knife, which is the um, Microtech Scarab 2 uh, Shadow. I wouldn't want to accidentally fire the shadow into my hand either, but this is easily twice as powerful because it's under tension all the time versus a double action creating the tension every time you pull down. I mean, technically they're under a little bit of tension both in the open and closed position, but you're actually elongating the springs 
whether you are you know retracting it or deploying it. This one is just a big coil spring that once you you know sort of <laughs> cock and load it, uh, it's just under tension. So one button push and all of that tension gets released and throws the blade. Uh, this got fired into my hand and it hit a callus, which is the only reason that it didn't. I'm convinced the only reason it didn't uh, do much worse, but it still it still managed to do quite a bit of damage. Um, so just be aware. But if you've ever wanted a single action OTF and you want a serious one, not a toy, the Hydra is a serious single action OTF. It's very cool. Just be careful with it. We still have no surprise. I mean, obviously this is a super expensive knife, um, but I love Herman knives. I love their entry level stuff that comes in between six and 800 bucks. And I also love obviously their ultra hyper custom um, knives. This is a Sting. It's number seven in Black Timascus. And that is, if you want to know specifically, that is the performance version of Damacor, meaning the core of that blade is essentially Vanax and the jacket of the blade is Damasteel. So it's triple composition. Whatever Damasteel's proprietary blend of Vanax is, it's essentially Vanax. And then you have PMC 27 and RWL 34. Uh, wrapping the blade. So that is a legitimately ultra premium knife, but as expensive knives generally do, it's probably going to sit there for a little bit. I got to be honest, I'm a little tempted by it. Some of these new attention to detail knives are sitting here. Um, eh, I don't know, eh, $1,000 for that. I don't know. There are knives I'd spend $1,000 on. I'm not sure that's going to be what I want to do. There are a couple, actually more than a couple, a lot of Microtech Combat Troidons in, um, you know, basically special edition variants of these. So the uh, Hell, <laughs> they should call this the Hell Cliff. <laughs> um, but uh, the Troidon Warn Cliff, uh, that's a signature series is sitting there. We have a really interesting version of the Troidon Hellhound in Ultim uh, and the DLC blade, which I'm actually kind of shocked is still there. Um, a honestly, like the Hellhound's cool, but you know what? Save yourself two hundred and twenty dollars and go with the um, the plain drop point blade. There is in no universe is this blade shape two hundred and twenty dollars more. My math was quick there. I don't know if that's actually accurate. Two hundred twenty-two dollars. I don't know. You can tell me if I'm right. Uh, in no universe is that accurate, right? Or shoot, save yourself another nearly hundred, one hundred dollars, eighty dollars, seventy-five dollars. And get a regular one in bronze, right? Go even further and get yourself a standard one for $543. To be honest with you, to be perfectly honest with you, I remember when these were under $400, right? Inflation and you're going to pay the Microtech uh, tax. That's just the way that it is. But if you're itching for one of those, they are legitimately some of the nicest double action knives out there, period. Uh, if you have never experienced, like let's say you have an Ultratech and that's the most you've experienced from Microtech, these fire significantly harder and feel as as high quality as the Ultratechs are. The Combat Troodons are, well, it's night and day. They're insane. Some more Ultratechs, speaking of. Uh, so you've got your pick there. I really wish they wouldn't combo these. That drives me nuts. Like, just sell them individually. I don't want both. I want one, right? Sell me one of them for half the price. Uh, let's see here. These look really nice. The Randall Knives uh, Weasel. Yeah, they definitely look nice. Uh, that's a Magna Cut Leak in uh, aluminum for 135 Not terrible. Uh, the Large Sabenta Tantos are sitting here. I know that the Tanto is not quite as popular, obviously, as the Drop Point, but those are there. Um, what is this? Oh, those are... Surely that's not... What is this? This must be like a print. It's kind of a nice looking fixed blade, though. There's some new Finch knives dropping September 22nd. I haven't seen Finch knives in a bit there, so that's cool to see. Moving on here. Um, oh, Swiss Army Spartan with a serrated blade. I don't think I've... Other than the saws that come with um, that come with the uh, uh, Victorinox knives sometimes, I don't think I've ever seen a serrated blade. Not not the, not the primary blade, anyway. This Heretic Pariah, uh, pariah in the uh, Blued Baker Forge Damascus uh, Aurora Mai, that is, so that's San Mai. And then obviously there's some bluing or something going on to get the blade that color, but that is not paint. That is, uh, that is legitimate. That's, that's very cool. Um, I, I don't know if I'm, you know, tempted to pay 1600 for it, but you don't see a lot of stuff like that, uh, flying around. 
The giant clair. Oh my god, these are the enormous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought these were regular clerics. There's no way to tell. DLT, you got to put this, you you have to put this knife up against a regular uh, cleric for a size comparison because this knife is 20 inches long. It's huge. Oh my gosh. I wonder if DLT would, <laughs> there's no way. I wonder if DLT would let me sample one. Oh my gosh, that is insane. $7,500. They'll get bought. This thing is gigantic. You can actually look this up on YouTube and uh, Heretic uh, demoed it at a recent show. Uh, and it's it's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what use you would have for that or anybody, right? But there you go. Well, if you want the Benchmade Mini Infidel for $600, it's sitting there. I would advise against that. I actually really like these... Um, these pouches here. At first I thought they were wallets, but the, the pouch is pretty cool too. They had a Elmax. They must have had an extra one sitting there. The Manticore X. There are newer versions of the Rockwall uh, hovering around. I've seen those at a few different sites here. Griffin Scout F3. Um, I wonder where these are made. I'm curious. It's not a bad looking knife. It's just there's not anything. Yeah, it's made in China. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that this is Best Deck or Riot, but I honestly have no idea. But interesting, for sure. Um, I don't know. There's just nothing. There's not... At first glance, I mean, I know, like, I'm the one who always says, like, don't judge a book by its cover. You might be surprised. And you might be, right? Um, this is a Slim Midi. Why is the Slim Midi Marauder $700? And, uh, you know, like, why? I just don't get it. Same with the Praetorian T's and the Genesis here. They're just, it's because it's the flagship model, I guess. And so is the Marauder. Marauder and Praetorian are, are flagship models, so that you just got to pay more. They're cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're cool. Same with the Fat Daddy, I guess. These are OG models. A ton of them sitting here in S90V. Tons and tons and tons. I mean, honestly, as time goes on at those prices, I know those are American made and really... Medford's quality is night and day versus what it used to be. I remember handling some old Medfords, handling the newer ones. It's insane. They're super high quality, but man, that is just a lot of money, especially considering their overall quality is exactly the same as Chris Reeve, Rick Hinder, Demco, Les George, Harzi, or I'm sorry, Spartan. Uh, you know, it's all in that same territory. So um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you there. Still tempted by the, uh, what do we call this? The SBD? Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking fixed blade. I just wish it was longer. I've said that a million times. Yeah, hey, look at that. There's a Combat Troodon and Ultim, a double-edged DLC Combat Troodon and Ultim. That's one of the most interesting uh, variations of the Combat Troodon that I have ever seen. I cannot recommend... The, the Olai i3T EOS Titanium enough. I know that it's not a new, I know that the i3T or the i3 series is not new, but I have so many of these. I have bought this flashlight so many times and I just leave it lying around because it is so good. That's essentially the same thing that I use when I check the inside of a knife during a review for weight reduction. It's incredible. And the, I mean, it's a triple A and it just seems to last forever. They're so good. Hogue Deca Magnica. We have more Southern Grind Spider Monkey sitting around. I'm really happy to see that the price in the Spider Monkey hasn't gone insane. I mean, you can still get those for a reasonable price. I mean, versus what we, you know, what we see with some of the American competition, right? Um, let's keep going here. I'm not really interested in anything here on page six. We have some other things that I want to point out. The Bastinelli Reaper is so wicked looking. That's a DLT trading exclusive. <laughs> That's just wild. Oh my gosh. More 187s and S90V. Uh, the Nottingham Tactical Ultra 4. I think we're almost back to where we were the last time I did this. Yeah, because these are the pressure cookers, which is really random. More pens, things like that. Uh, let's get to the bottom of this page, and if nothing stands out to me, I'm going to jump right into coming soon. Man, those Hermans, all the other Hermans that dropped got bought up so quickly. Let's go to the drops page real quick. Nightwatch, MK1, those are available. A couple of fixed blades. 
The Jack Wolf uh, Pioneer is apparently in two minutes. I'm recording this on a uh, Friday, so by the time you guys are watching this, those will have dropped. I don't record on a Saturday. I spend time with my family, that's why. Um, I want to look at the exclusives page real quick here just because sometimes it's a good idea to check this page and have everything bunched up together. A lot of times there are exclusives stocked by DLT that people just don't know about. Um, they have a ton of Medfords, so the first thing we have to do is kind of, you know, wade through all the Medfords. The, what is the element that makes a Medford a DLT exclusive? The S90V. As far as I know, you're not going to get S90V, at least through these models, anywhere else uh, on, on the internet. It's possible that you'll see other models from Medford knives floating around in S90V, but all of the models that you're seeing here, as far as I'm aware, are exclusive to DLT. Um, at least for a certain amount of time. Um, maybe there's an exclusivity contract that runs up after a while. Good Lord. There are so many Medfords sitting here. Okay, here we go. The Demco 8020.5 in 3V and the Tanto configuration, which is a really cool exclusive, is still sitting here. So if you did not know that that existed, that's in G10, um, so not plastic and in 3V, so you can get 3V and the Tanto not having to pay nearly as much as the titanium variants. Um, let's, that's a good one to um, customize with um, the Flytanium stuff. Because Flytanium and GOAT, actually, the original GOAT has uh, some extremely cool um, custom scales for the AD 20.5. Just really a ton of Medfords here. I'm just trying to get back to... I'm going to actually skip page 7 because at this point... <laughs> yeah, okay, we're back. We're into the sold out stuff now at this point. So, no, they got a couple other things down here. It's still worth scrolling through that page a little bit. The, the last thing I want to do here is I want to go back to the main page and I want to click on the restocks page. Real quick... Let's see what's been restocked. This, for some reason, a ton of bokers that I have never seen before are listed under the restocks page. And I'm sure that a lot of you are familiar with some of these, um, but I'm not. That actually looks like a pretty nice knife there. The Boker Plus Conductor. Okay, so these are all Boker Plus. Is Boker Plus like their premium line or something? The nano oil, you can now buy nano oil directly through DLT trading, or you probably could some time ago, and maybe they just recently restocked it. This stuff will work miracles on your knife. If you, uh, I've said this since the dawn of my channel, or well, not the dawn, but the first year into my channel or so, I started using uh, nano oil, a single drop on the detent ball, or, or where, you know, it, wherever the parts, you know, communicate physically with each other. Uh, it is a miracle working substance. Um, if you have a knife that just doesn't quite feel right, one drop of, of nano oil, really, the 10 weight stuff is what I like to use. Uh, wow, it's, it's really that good. The Cold Steel Mayhem Modified Cleaver, holy moly. These SOG knives must be really high definition pictures because they're not wanting to load. This must be a special edition of the Mini Barrage. And then there's the 27303 Mini Adamus, which is really expensive, but probably the nicest version of the Adamus that uh, is available. There's a three-quarter AR sitting there. An S45VN three-quarter AR Tanto. Um, I know that a lot of people are looking for that. So if you didn't know that was there, that is there. The SR1 and S35VN, which is probably one of the toughest knives that Cold Steel has ever made. Uh, and has much better materials than its light counterpart. A blue combat troodon, the Adamus, another combat troodon, just the standard in the OD green. Uh, is that a large and cozy? What? <laughs> There's a large and cozy just hanging out. <laughs> If you're looking for a large and cozy, I know that's, that's going to be gone as soon. It might be buried until tomorrow, but there's a large and cozy just sitting there. You might want to check that one. Let's go to page three real quick, just because sometimes, you you know, you find treasures. The Becker BK3 Tac Tool. That's such an amazing looking fixed blade. Okay. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I just wanted to go over DLT. Um, be watching DLT. Uh, I, uh, I, I've become attuned 
to DLT, kind of like, you know, um, how uh, the Yellowstone Park, like they have sort of timed the uh, geysers. Uh, DLT is overdue for an eruption, so to speak. They uh, must have some pretty serious stuff coming in um, because it's been a while. I know they had a surprise hinder drop here just a little bit ago, and they also dropped some Hermans, but I can almost guarantee that some pretty major things are going to happen at DLT for the rest of the year. So it's worth continuously coming back to DLT and checking as anybody who regularly does will tell you it's a very, very good idea. DLT is one of the best places to find the stuff that you're looking for, especially when it comes to American folding knives, American fixed blades, and special variants of those. Uh, some of the best scores I've ever heard of have come from DLT trading, at least in the territory of the knife world that I like to cover. So if you are not familiar with DLT trading, it's a good idea to make yourself familiar in a very regular way. That's going to be it today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Like I said, all of these pages will be linked down in the description so you guys can go through them yourselves. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.